What's going on, everybody? So, we are now at incident number three for the year, and we're not even out of January yet. I'm not too sure how many people heard about this. I was going to get up a little bit earlier, but I was in the PSA uh, economy lottery. And just in case you guys see this and you're still sitting in a lottery, it was only five cards. Um, they're doing it each week, so I'm going to see if I can get five per week onto it. But, on to the story at hand. So, uh, earlier today, I'd say in the afternoon, I heard a little bits and pieces about a group submitter named Mark's Cards. I might have heard of him just because of seeing some kind of YouTube videos or something out there uh, offhand, but not familiar with him. I guess he is a PSA group submitter that's like an official dealer off of the PSA website. From my understanding, again, this is all from what people have talked about, and I'm going to pull up one thing here. You guys can get, I'll put a link for the Instagram. But uh, supposedly, I don't know how factual this is, he has over a million dollars owed to PSA. A million dollars in people's submissions. And the worst part of it is, most of these people, from what I understood, paid up front. Uh, I'm going to pull this up. We're going to get into this a little bit here. Boom. Everybody knows Ryan. Ryan's Card Collector 2 out of Ohio. I've met him probably a couple years ago, uh, a couple times. Uh, real nice guy. Real nice guy. I can never say anything bad about him. Uh, this here, I mean, he basically just says that, you know, he messed up. He was submitting through Mark's cards. And, you know, his customers came in, wanted to do PSA. He fronted the money up front. He never charged his customers up front and submitted them through them. But one thing I don't understand is you have your own shop. Why aren't you just doing your own PSA? I mean, it would just make more sense that you do your own thing, regardless if Mark's Cards is getting a bigger discount or not. At least you would be held... Be the only person somebody's handing their cards off to. It's not going from you to them. And then, you know, maybe pass around three people in his shop, whatever it may be. I just wouldn't have expected this really to be something where he was submitting through somebody else. Um, I still do some submissions for people. Basically, there's a few people that are, you know, real good friends of mine. I let them submit through my stuff or tag in my orders. There's a couple other guys, you know, probably about seven, eight, somewhere around there that I still hold their accounts and stuff and submit for them. Mostly because they are still active duty military and they're stationed in places like Germany and Korea and stuff. And it's just painful if you guys know for customs. But let's get back to the story because I'm getting off onto a tangent here again. Um, so Ryan comes to this video, again, link in the description, that he's known about this since November, and he just posted this video now, so two months somewhere in there, that he found out about this. Basically, he was checking on orders and found out that it was in like an account hold. And normally when it's an account hold, it's either you are getting oh you're getting upcharged, there was damage to the cards, they gotta get in contact with you with how you want to do with the resolution. Um, maybe a bad credit card, you know, because they've been sitting there for over a year. Maybe you got a new credit card in the mail and never updated it online, you know, simple things like that. So to find out it was account hold, he kept on getting, you know, kind of the ring around when you hear the story for probably, you know, a week or two. Um basically he had to give him Mark's cards, and the end result, when you hear the whole story, he flew to PSA, had to upfront pay an additional $110,000. I think he said it was $110,513, something like that, to get what was already graded back from his, for his customers, and then they shipped them back. Um. He said something about he had to get a promissory note signed for 2022 that, you know, Mark's card is going to pay him that money back and everything. It, it just doesn't really add up. What did you do with everybody's money? I mean, shouldn't you just put it in a separate bank account and not spend their money? That's kind of jacked up. I mean, 
it is what it is. There's a lot of people out with it. Um, I know Ryan says that if you're one of the people affected by it, contact, you know, PSA's Customer Service Center, CSC. That's what that stands for, Customer Service Center. And, I mean, basically, they're just giving out the generic blurb from what I've seen on a blowout forum onto this. But it's a shame. It really is. I mean, guys have cards out there. There's, you know, there's all kind of rumors out there. Some people refuse to pay Mark's cards now because the cards deteriorated in price and everything. But if Ryan paid up front for his orders, and just because you're now, you know, something like 30, I think he said 30, 40 orders, maybe 300,000, 400,000 behind, now a million behind, oh, and PSA, why don't you just say, hey, listen, talk to him. I'm still trying to get these guys to pay for their orders. These guys have paid for their orders. Please send these out. You know, I, I, I just weird. Because, see, PSA is one of the things they don't charge you until they grade your cards. SGC, up front. Back it. As soon as they log that thing, the system charged. You know, I could see up front on stuff like that there. But with PSA... I can kind of understand it because I used to do a lot of group submitting uh, a couple years ago for guys in my breaks. You know, trying to track somebody down for payments is kind of hectic. And I guess if you're having, you know, thousand customers out there trying to track them down, I guess I can kind of get it. We put our trust and faith into group submitters. There's people out there do that. And this is what happens. I mean, third incident of the year, we've went from... A bad Pokemon case <laughs> to the Trevor Lawrence incident. Now to the uh, uh, PSA submitter incident here. And I, I know PSA is probably going to make some kind of announcement here eventually on to it. But it's a dang shame that, you know, we're not even through the freaking month of uh, January. You can see I'm a little upset with this. That we've already had three incidents like this. And they're huge incidents. Um, I don't even know if this would have came really big in the public eye if Ryan from Card Collector 2 didn't actually put to do this live Instagram today. I'm just kind of, I don't know. He said he flew out, I think he said in December for it, so a month later, and he's taken another month before he's done did this video up. Uh, I'm sure there had to be some legal stuff before he did it and everything like that to where he could only speak factual facts, even though there's tons of rumors flying around out there. So I could say, you know, what's fact is, is what Ryan says in this video. Um, it's 21 minutes long. If you guys want to watch it, like I said, links in the description. If you're affected by this, I would, I, from what I've heard, Mark's cards ain't responding. They've shut down different things and everything for what I read and blow out. Contact PSA. You're supposed to have some kind of receipt. And let me go back in here. I'll show you. Do, 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 do. Boom. All right. This is the lady who's responding from Collector's Universe. And this is what everybody's getting right here from Alyssa. But up here, somebody put it. Sorry for the fast scrolling, guys. I'm trying to find... Oh, maybe it's not on this page. I might have lied to you. Hold on. Don't mind me as I'm scrolling quick. I'm trying to find a blurb. It might be back a page or forward. Let me see. Oh, must have been on page two. I was trying to read through these while I was waiting in the queue. Uh, psh, psh. I mean, there's people in here talking about, you know, Mark's Cards bought a card shop with everybody's stuff. So here's what it is. Each customer of PSA dealer is entitled to the following rights. A written receipt. When the customer submits traded cards and or memorabilia to the dealer for a grading by PSA, the dealer will provide the customer the receipt identifying the submitted items. So... You should have something on there. If you guys are uh, on to it, you guys could go on to this here, this PSA card about rights. I'll try to put that link in the video, too, just in case you're affected by this. Uh, I'm sorry if you are out there. I mean, the only people I've ever used to grade with was uh, Joe Sappy, how to Sappy Sports Cards with Beckett, because he's, like, right there. And to me, I'd rather mail him something than him get it back, make sure it's packaged up rightly and not just, you know, thrown in a box with some bubble wrap and that was it. Like, he boxes and boxes. Um, and I've done it with uh, uh, Red and Gold. I, I don't know who he went through. I had him submit a couple for me before, just asked if I could tag along. And, you know, I just never bugged him. Hey, whenever they come back, they come back type deal. Let me know what I owe you. Um, but, yeah. 
kind of crazy with this stuff. I mean, through not even a month into this year, and we've had this stuff already happen. But yeah, I think I'd hit this up real quick. I mean, like I said, my points are it's great that Ryan did that. He came out of pocket because yes, it is his brand name. It is his reputation on a line. Um, he's not looking for, you know, sympathy, I guess is the way. I don't know if that's what he says or not on to there. I know he talks about it, but he wanted to put it out to the public too, because this is what's going on with what I had to do. And wow. Like I said, I'm still in shock that he doesn't submit his own cards, uh, from his own shop like that. I just really found it you know, different at that. He was going through somebody else that was going to make something, blah, 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 blah type deal. Um, the other part is, I don't understand, where'd the money go? Do people prepaid up front? Get those their, get their orders back if they prepaid you. If you don't have that money anymore and you used it because you put a store up, which is being talked about, yeah, you got to find a way. You got to make this right and make it right quick because, dang, that, that's just wrong in so many aspects. It just makes me fired up when I hear stuff like this. But all right, everybody. You guys take care. I got to get an order out to PSA tomorrow uh, for my economy. Only five cards you get if you're in that lottery today. And I think it's five per week they're doing for the next three weeks. So, um, Other than that, catch you guys. We'll talk a little more about this in overtime, plus the other past, we're going to call them scandals or whatever out there. And... Look at 9 p.m. Eastern start time tomorrow night. 9 p.m. Eastern for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then I'm going to call it because I got an hour and a half drive to the show the next day. All right, guys, take care. Appreciate you as always watching the videos. Catch you all next one.